So um, this video is uh, of us fellas here coming down to Fiordland and uh, we got, we're on board a boat called the Cindy Hardy and uh, we've been taken, taken around by the crew and we've done all sorts of carry on. Uh, we've just dragged up, our, our final thing was some half hooker, so we caught half hooker, tons of crayfish, bit of diving, even shot a deer. So uh, that's what you're into, stick around and uh, watch our exploits. Hopefully uh, one day you'll come down and take a similar trip. I was just probably going to do a bit of music with a bit of, um, hey, you know, with a few faces in it. Yeah, so we're on the Cindy Hardy, uh, this is the crew for our trip and uh, we've got a variety of um, activities to do and uh, I'm sure you'll get to see the lads uh, throughout, it's all, in, it's all in the name of Ian's 40th birthday, so uh, yeah, we'll have a good few days and uh, follow along. First up, pulling some pots. Uh, the decky down there, Hayden. He's on. He's on the. He's on the um, hook. Going to show us how it's done. Smiling so much, Dave. <laughs> so yeah, uh, just had our first drop for blue cod. Um, the uh, crayfish has been smoked, uh, oh not smoked up, bloody uh, bloody steamed up. And so we're uh, having having a crack at that. I'm going to go around and uh, interview a few of the boys and just ask them about uh, I don't know some just classic fishing things. They'll say things like it doesn't get any fresher than that, and uh, blue cod's a great fighting fish. Any fresher than that? Around about five minutes ago. Yeah. Was it? Sweet as. Beeper, bro. Buzzer. Wave buzzer, Ian. There it is. Yeah, I'm just over here doing a bit of coaching, getting Jeremy on board. He's not much of a fisherman, but he's got himself on a fishing trip. He's called so far. You'll have to ask Michael Sargent. He is the blue cod master. He is the blue cod master. I'm spending a bit more time with the pot here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think I've got a thing I'm on. Bloody blue cod. Hell of a fight. No, I mean, if there's anything you say about the blue cod, it's a fighting fish. Oh, it's not even a blue cod. It's a bloody granddaddy half <laughs> So that was our uh, first day in Dusky Sound and uh, it was pretty cool. We went and pulled up some pots and got all the craze we need for the rest of the trip. So it's sort of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's made me less motivated to go diving again. But um, 
yeah, we're, we're pulling into this little cove tonight and then uh, hopefully I'll head off for a, for a shoot in the morning. Yeah, so this morning I left the boat, got to the shore right on daybreak and then uh, just wandered, wandered up the river and uh, then took one of the leading ridges on the true right. Uh, bush pretty good really, um, it was pretty good going. I had a little clearing that I found on a satellite picture that I was heading to but um, just before I got to it I've hit a pretty gnarly little re-entrant that um, I didn't feel like crossing at this point so uh, with the wind up my bum I'm going to uh, retreat back to the boat. What do you got, Ian? Fish of the, tr fish of the trip thus far. Soft bait is full. What it's a tank, up. bro. What a tank. You got the secret weapon, Dave. Soft yeah. baits. Keep the head to go up on the wall when I get home, so didn't want any holes in it. Yeah, we're mounting it. Oh, bro, cut it. You'd be devastated. <laughs> any more fish in the sea, Marshall? Oh, we lost them, boys. Boys are gutted. You catch a couple of cod? Mate, you know I caught them. <laughs> <laughs> Rather large. We got on the softies and they're sweet. We're about to go try and catch some uh, barracuda. Jeremy's keen as. He's a barracuda, mate. barracuda fisherman from a long time ago. Just us bro, in Jurassic Park. Now me and Jeremy are gonna go for a bit of a snoop up this uh, up this valley. Yeah, this young hind. 
Um, got her, what do you reckon? About 10 metres. Oh, if that. <laughs> yeah, she, um, she looked pretty big. I had got a little reflex side on my gun, so I just uh, came up with that and drilled her. She was standing front on, and it looks like it's come through the through the chest and it exit hole there. So um, she kicked around for a bit. So uh, it might not be a hard shot, might be in the lungs, but no, I'm absolutely fizzing. I'm stoked with that. Um, it's a testament to Jeremy coming along, and we we're both quiet enough to get within 10 metres of a deer. Yeah, bloody good. So we'll drag her out of here and gut her because it's about to get dark. You want a hand, mate? Uh, he might come and hold a leg at some point. Yeah, so Jeremy's on first carry. I've filmed him about three times now, so you better get moving. And uh, we've got a couple of Ks to go. One headlamp. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> Me and Jeremy just gonna stand up here like Jack and Rose, the other boys are hung over. We'll um, check out these dolphins. Yeah, how's that for a uh, for a picture? A deer from last night. She's cutting up a bit rough though, so um, we don't know what we're gonna do. Might go out uh, to the heads for a dive and uh, maybe have a crack at some pukka. Two for the boys. Sergeant for his first. Looking forward to it, brother. something on the other end.
can't win them all, nothing on the uh, set lines, but um, we're going to have another crack at that later. We'll do a reset for tomorrow, but uh, for now we're going to head off and we might um, cut up that deer soon. Just been up front classing for deer on the way in, no such luck, but um, apparently this is the spot where they've got uh, it's a marine reserve that we're in at the moment and uh, there's some friendly groper, so uh, we're going to have a go at feeding them at some stage. Good, good choice. To the skip bin that I should have videoed him putting the deer up there for me, but um, now he's sorted it out, so now we can deal to it. It's primo. Yeah, no deer on deck, but it's a pretty mean view out that way, and um, it was a good little walk. Some nice clearings further up, but I still don't know what the tuck is like, and uh, the deer numbers definitely aren't high in here, but cool spot. We'll head back to the big boat. Ian's uh, crayfish leg technique. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. It's our uh, last full day on the uh, Cindy Hardy. About to do a uh, final half hooker drop because uh, we haven't got onto the groper yet. So um, we'll drop these, then go do, go do an activity and uh, wait to pick them up this afternoon. Tidying up a few of the crayfish, tailing them and uh, dolphins up alongside of the boat. Yeah, so Dave's just cracked it. We were just doing a few poker drops at the moment and um, he's he's the first one to start winding up. He reckons he's got something on. What do you got, Dave? <laughs> Ian might be onto something. He's called me up. We're going to see this monster. It could be a, could be a small harp hooker, he reckons. But uh, we'll get the GoPro on it. Last attempt at getting a poker on the set lines. This just got us onto uh, onto our first hard poker, so we're bloody stoked. Hey, the legend delivers. Hey. Mean boys, that's awesome. Last drop on the last drop. Last <laughs> What do you need? What do you need? In the mouth? In the mouth. Yeah, just anywhere. Yep, no, I've got yeah, it. No pressure to it. <laughs> I've got this. Outstanding little pup. <laughs> Woo! 
Yeah, so it has been a um, an awesome five days. Everything's been perfect besides the uh, sand flies, but that's all part of it. Um, final day now. Uh, weather's sort of packed it in just a little bit, and uh, we're waiting for the helicopter. Brought all our stuff uh, our stuff to shore, and now I'm just going to go for a little look at um, Supper Cove Hut. But uh, hopefully it made a half decent video. Highly recommend coming out with these guys. Um, yep, the crew's been great, uh, and the Cindy Hardy is a uh, is an awesome beast to spend a few days on, and um, pretty incredible part of the world. So uh, yeah, check it out. I'll leave a link somewhere to get to their website, and uh, I hope you also have an awesome trip. Catch up.